Here with Wien College women's basketball head coach Melissa Hodgden previewing the 2014-15 season. Coach Hodgden, first of all, let's just talk about the preseason, how and what for the team. It's gone really fast. I, I feel uh, we started our season with an alumni day and uh, kind of homecoming for all the families and friends to join us. So it was an awesome way to kick off the season, but I think we've had 16 practices and there's never enough time to practice. I, you know, I wish we had instead of two hour blocks, maybe like six hour blocks, but um, practices have been really intense, fun, high energy, uh, getting better every day, which is, is really important for us in our program and, and everybody in general. Um, so, so far so good. Coach, can you just talk about the returning starters for your team? All five are intact. You only lose seniors Lauren McClellan and Sarah Fitzgerald. So your, your starting five is still there for this year. Can you just talk about what that means for you this season? Yeah, we've always been a team that, you know, we hope's a lot deeper than our starting five. And uh, Lauren McClellan, Sarah Fitzgerald, Fitz and Stick uh, added a ton to that. Even though they didn't start, they had in really important roles as seniors in our program on and off the court. So that has been a void for us. Uh, they've both been in touch, which is great. Uh, they had great senior years and went out on a good note, not a new Mac championship, but 20 wins was, was a goal. And I think they feel really good about that. The returners, you know, you say five, but I feel like we have six starters. Uh, we only start five, but uh, we have a solid, solid six that have really taken pride in um, leading this program. And not just like in a, you know, a bossy leadership way, which sometimes that gets misconstrued, but they're serving their teammates. They care about their teammates. They really care about Wheaton, you know, the Wheaton jersey and what they wear and their chest and what it represents. And all six of them, Abby Brickley, Kylie Shoemaker, Becca Arnone, Laura Pierce, Kenzie Kuhn, uh, Kurt Ferrari, Kirsten Ferrari, um, just are phenomenal basketball players, work every day, uh, lead on and off the court. So that's, that is a great core for us to have. Coach, you talk about your returning uh, group here, but talk about your first years as well. Yeah, it's interesting, Sean. We've had a, a divide. You know, we have six really solid nucleus, great leaders buy into the program. They get it. Uh, I don't even have to lead practice with them. And then we have six newcomers, uh, first years that are buying into everything, working so hard. They get better every day, but obviously they're not as seasoned as the veterans players. So we have like a little bit of an imbalance which is fun to coach because we're trying to create that chemistry with them and you know growing pains happen but that's how you get better you know by the bad days and and by making mistakes and, and seeing them learn to play together and build chemistry together is a really cool part about coaching and um, becoming a family I guess you know and then we have a couple sophomores and uh, thrown into that mix that didn't get a lot of playing time last year but are working you know to to get those minutes and working hard every day in practice as well. So we have a little bit of divide. We're just trying to get all 16 on the same page, have a couple injuries, which every coach faces, but you know, long-term the season's uh, a marathon, not a sprint. So, you know, we just work every day to get better. Start the season this Saturday at 6 p.m. versus Plymouth State. Just talk about that matchup and then the Cheryl Warren Powers tournament overall. Yeah, Plymouth State, first of all, Little East opponent, really strong league, uh, aggressive team, excited for them to come down and play us and be a part of our tournament, along with Suffolk University, a GNAC team, who's always at the top of that conference, and then Yeshiva from New York, who we played last year. So really good uh, pool of talent for our tournament. Hopefully we'll get a lot of fans to see some great women's basketball on campus. But more importantly, you know, Cheryl Warren Powers, who was on the uh, 1994 Final Four team, the banners up there, uh, passed away after having birth to twins two and a half years ago, and we decided to name our tournament in honor of her, which was a really quick and easy, simple thing to do. And the twins now are, are a big part of our program, so they were here the other day, teaching them how to choose some gum, giving them the ball, getting ready to give it to the officials, and the money we raise will go directly to their fund, the Little Angels Fund. Um, you know, they can talk and run around and dribble and everything now. Last year we raised $3,100, I believe, so we're hoping to make more than that. Um, hopefully every person that comes to our game, you know, they'll donate $5 to get into the tournament. It'll go directly to the Twins. Students uh, are a dollar, and it's going to something, you know, bigger than basketball. So we're happy that we can do that again this year. Game times for this weekend, 6 and 8 p.m. on Saturday and 1 and 3 on Sunday. After that, you'll have some tough matchups including Colorado College, Tufts College, or Tufts University, excuse me, as well, Final Four team last year. Just talk about that matchup. 
Yeah, Tufts University is obviously phenomenal. Um, they have everybody back, and I, I, I think they could be a national contender for the title, Division Three women's basketball. So they're coming to Norton, Massachusetts. We're excited about that. Colorado College is coming out here. We obviously have a few women on our team from Colorado, but one of our former recruits from Massachusetts is playing out there. So it'll be neat to have Danny Davis back. They're a good team, um, a little more West Coast exposure and uh, Southwest exposure, trying to get a, a like teach our team what women's basketball is like all around the country at all different levels. And then, you know, we go right into new Mac play. Coach, last question. Just talk about the middle of your season. Get to go to Hawaii. <laughs> Should be a fun trip. Just talk about that for yeah. us. Well, are you coming to Hawaii? I'm working on it. You know, <laughs> I'd like you to come to Hawaii with us. It's a phenomenal trip. We did it in uh, 2007, 2008, which is the year we won the new Mac tournament and went to the NCAA tournament. But, um, Hawaii is a beautiful place, uh, aloha spirits, well and alive, but more importantly, we're going to play Willamette and George Fox, who got top 25 votes like we did. Um, so those will be, that's a business trip with some sunshine and some surfing and some snorkeling, but hopefully two good games and we'll get better out there. You know, before we leave for that is exam week, which is always a challenge for us to keep our GPA above a 3.0. And right before exam week, we play Clark and New Mac champs from last year, Springfield College at Springfield College. So. We're thrown right into the fire. Um, every day is a test, and every day we have to give our best. All right, thanks, Coach, and good luck this season. Thanks, Sean.